Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Amber from Unique Upcycles and today is actually part two of my dining set makeover. Um, if you didn't check out part one, I will have that linked in the description below. It was the dining table and this video is the dining chairs, which as you will see, I will probably never do chairs again, like ever majorly majorly traumatized so if you are not already following me on Instagram be sure to do that for behind the scenes footage and let's go ahead and get started with that hot mess remember to like and subscribe to see future hot messes okay so here are the five chairs that we'll be working on today that match that dining table set once I realized that there was actually four layers of paint on these and I knew I had to get that all off, I decided to try using a chemical stripper. I'm just applying this with a chip brush all over the chair and I'll let it sit for three hours to do its work. Um, this is an eco-friendly stripper. I've used it before and I'm just testing it out on one of the chairs. We can sleep under the stars. To avoid this video being 10 hours long, for the most part, I'm just going to be taking you through the process on one out of the five chairs that I did. Once I had the chair fully coated in the stripper, I just wrapped it in some plastic wrap to prevent the stripper from drying out. We can do what we like, like. After letting it sit for three hours, I came back and removed all the plastic wrap. You want to be sure to wear gloves when you're doing this. And this is the point that I realized that this was a terrible idea. I started by trying to use a plastic putty knife to scrape off the paint and I switched over to a metal putty knife. And as you can see, the chair is just, it's curved and it's not scraping very well. So it just, it did not work. You can see now how many different colors and layers of paint are on this chair. I did my best to try to scrape off as much as I could on that seat, but ultimately I ended up giving up and just setting it to the side. I let it dry for like a week and came back later with a different method to finish removing the paint from it. Method number two to remove the paint was with the heat gun and this was definitely the better option So you just heat it up until it starts to bubble slightly and then using a metal putty scraper I'm just scraping the paint keeping the heat gun. I'm um, just ahead of the scraper making sure not to burn my hand And here's a close-up you can see the paint starting to bubble you want to make sure that your putty scraper has a beveled edge and not just a flat straight edge otherwise you'll gouge into the wood and you'll just slowly scrape it off i got my heat gun from harbor freight i think it was about 15 dollars, so it was pretty inexpensive since this was latex paint on it, um, I was able to get it to peel up in several places, which made it a little bit easier to remove from that flat surface. getting the majority of the paint removed using the heat gun I took my palm sounder and just sanded down the rest of it being careful of the curves and the edges um, the mouse sander has a little point on the top so it made it easier to kind of get around things I definitely recommend this type over an orbital sander for chairs since I was doing this project over at my parents' house, I was able to use my dad's fancy tools and I took his DeWalt multi-tool to get in these little edges and in between the spokes on the back of the chair. I will definitely be purchasing one of these for myself. It worked really well. And what felt like 500 hours later, all five chairs are completely stripped and I can finally move on to priming them. 
I used the Zinzer Bullseye 123 primer in the gray color. I used the aerosol type to save my sanity and time. With this fun little spray attachment that I got off of Amazon, I would recommend that to anybody using anything in a spray can. Everything will be linked in the description, but that's definitely a solid purchase. I'm a butterfly who has only begun. Taking me a while to get it. Had to live and cry to appreciate life and what you give is worth. I ordered my primer off of Amazon and I got four cans and it was enough to do about one and a half coats on all five chairs. I am using the color Driftwood by Dixie Bell and I applied about two and a half coats to each chair. I am using my Zebra Triangle brush uh, to start and I do have this sped up 2,000 times. Keep in mind that I did paint each chair by hand so as long as this is taking just multiply that by five and that's why I will never do chairs again. I switched out my zebra triangle brush to my zebra square brush. I just misted it with some water from my mister um, before I dipped it into the paint and then used it for the back of these chairs details. Moving on to the front of the chair, I decided to use um, a small detail brush just so I could get into those little crevices and details around the tops and bottoms of those uh, spokes or spindles or whatever you want to call them. I then switched back to my zebra triangle brush to do the top of the seat as well as the edges. and your colors I'm in love with all your nights but you've kept me far away from my focus and to my heart I cannot lie to protect my paint, I'll be using Minmax Polyacrylic in clear satin. And by me, once again, I mean my dad, as I recruited him to spray all the chairs for me as well, just like I did for the table. And they guide me through the dark. Lonely days left in despair. Air is getting heavier. He ended up spraying a total of two coats on each chair. Some of the chairs have the original Maker Mark plaque on it, so to clean it up, I am doing a vinegar boil. I just boiled some vinegar, dropped it in, let it boil for a little bit, and pulled it out with some tongs, and then just peeled the latex paint off. It came off really easily. I then just kind of polished it up with a nylon brush to get it all nice and shiny. And this is what the little plaque looked like after I cleaned and polished it all up. And after so much work and so much trial and error, the chairs are finally complete. They are three different styles, but painted all the same color. They do blend well and seemingly do look like a set. And here is the full monochromatic dining set all together with the table and chairs. Once again, I will have the part one dining table makeover linked in the description. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Nothing's like home.